Hello everyone, welcome back to Motorsport Manager Mobile 3. So we had a good start, didn't we, in the first episode where we managed to get 1-2 in the first race of the season. However, it's not going to be that simple because we all know the other teams, the other drivers, they're all going to improve. So we can't just sort of rest on that and think everything is going to be alright. So we have actually going to design some new parts, or one new part, uh, since I last recorded. So that might pop up before this race or it might be after this race I get the new part. So I'm continuing to update, that's, that's for sure. So we're going to go second or above once again as I feel like we should have the pace in hand with our experienced drivers to hopefully get at least second place in these races. So, Cape Town, the second race on the calendar. Let's go ahead. It's a really, really nice um, track. Like, well, they're all really, really well done, but this one's got some nice landscape, especially. So, qualifying, as I said, always do qualifying. Always do qualify on this game, guys. It is so, so important, and it's really fun as well. This card game is awesome. I really enjoy it, and it, it's obviously a bit of luck, but... I, I enjoy it, and I'm, I'm thinking it, am I going to risk it any further? No, I'm not. I'm just going to leave it like it is. We're going to go with the ultra soft tyres, and away Dobson goes. Right, so we've only got nine mechanic bars here, so we're going to go with that one. Okay, that's not given as many opportunities here. I'm going to just send out a book over on that, because I don't want her to run into a failed setup. So, let's go around qualifying here. And we can notice the, the map is really, really well done. They've all been, I think, slightly updated since the second mobile game. I think is this, this is quite a short track, isn't it? This is quite a short track, Cape Town. So hopefully we can get a few lap time runs in. So you're one fifteen lap times. So they're going to come into their in-lap now. And then hopefully we can get out for at least one more run, maybe even two. We'll see. So just come into the pit lane right now. And let's send out Dobson. Dobson was down to third. But let's get a new setup on or an upgraded setup on. 0 to 15. I'm not going to quite risk that. Yes, plus 22% of the setup is good, but I'm not going to risk that. That's too much for me. Uh, we'll go with this. Good. All right, so we're getting there. Nearly 80% now of the setup. Now, the Clover, she doesn't have as many mechanic bars, which makes this a very tough task. But that was a good one there. I'm not going to go 3 to 20. That is just asking for trouble. And once again, I think I need to get a new mechanic because I'm really struggling here to get a new decent setup with Buklova. And we're not even on pole position right now. Murray's on pole position by, what, a tenth of a second here. So, yeah, we need to up our game in this next run here. So, out on track once again. This is uh, the second of the lap times right now. Nobody's going purple as of yet. No, okay, both went purple in the middle sector. And Buklova went on to pole position with the one... 14.9, fantastic lap time there. Now, they're both going to come into the pit lane, and we should actually get one more run in, which is pretty good. We should be able to max out Dobson's setup, which is going to be awesome. 2.26 for the session remaining. Ooh, 13, but that's going to max out our setup? Yes, it is. Perfect setup for Dobson. Right, for Clover. Now, we know she doesn't have as many mechanic bars, so that's going to make this tough. But fingers crossed we can do something here. So, there we go, one again. Can we get... Yes, okay, this is looking good. Can we get one that's... Okay, wasn't quite ideal there, but we've got a much better setup there. Our 63% with Buklova, and our, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So, just going to finish qualifying now. Only a couple of minutes remaining. Murray is still in between our two drivers here. I don't know whether he slash she, I don't know who it is. I don't know whether they're going to be able to, to push that next lap. And now Kowalski, Kowalski has gone into P3. Can Dobson go better? Dobson went P2. Yes, we've got some really good lap times in in the end there. Dobson, uh, sorry, but Dobson went pole. Dobson went pole, but Glover didn't improve. Uh, no, I think Glover did improve as well, so both drivers improved. And, well, we went on pole position there. It was quite unexpected. Didn't expect Dobson to get pole position right at the end there, but that perfect setup coming in handy. So... Let's see, can Buklova win this race, can Dobson win this race, or can someone else win this race? So we're going to continue to upgrade our mechanics relationships, that's important. Um, what are we seeing here? So it's a 22 lap race, so I'm going to mix the strategies up here. One I'm going to go that way, and one's going to go this way. Actually, Buklova's going to start on ultras. Right, that's the way we're going to go with it. Let's see, fingers crossed lads, it's going to work. So, lots coming on here. Cape Town GP in the bottom series. I also need to show you guys this as well. I mean, you've got top-down view as well, which is nice. It's interesting. I mean, I'll play it in top-down view for a little bit, see what you guys think. You can leave a comment down below. What do you think you're going to be playing as? You're going to be playing it as the top-down view, or you're going to play it as this view right now, which you can zoom in and out. And obviously in AR as well, there's a pretty awesome feature. 
Right, so let's go down to the top down view. So Buclover on those ultra soft tyres is doing a good job in the opening stages to build up a lead. I'll put the gap up there on the left hand side so you can have a look. Uh, Dobson doing well on the super soft tyres to maintain second position uh, ahead of Fellner, Murray and Hawks. Where well, Korski's lost a load of positions there. I think didn't, didn't they start third or fourth? So Dobson still just ahead of Fellner there, but Fellner on the Ultrasoft tyres is quicker, but you can see the tyres are degrading at a substantially faster rate on the Ultrasoft tyres. Dobson's 58, Fellner's on 50, and Murray has terrible tyre wear. Murray's on 20% right now. I don't know what's happening with him. So they must have been pushing like crazy in the opening stages. They might be going for a two-stop strategy. So I'm going to go back to this view now. I... I'm not sure which one I prefer to be perfectly honest, I do quite like them both, but I'm going to go with this right now, I like a bit more movement on the screen personally. Um, but right, so Buclova is leading, but Buclova is going to pit, is there a tyre that does 14 laps? Yes there is, we're going to go this lap, we don't want to destroy the tyres too much, because obviously when they degrade, they get, you know, they degrade faster and faster and faster, so we'll pit Buclova this lap. I wonder if we can get half distance with Dobson. That might be interesting to see whether we can do that. And low, super soft, super soft. Buclova's come out P5. Uh, has anyone else? Nobody around has really pitted. But we've got Nazar just, just behind, who's on ultra soft tyres, who has pitted. So, Dobson, can we go another lap? It's risking it. It's risking it. But the, the double super soft strategy could work out here. Let's see. We have got extra fuel, but I'm not going to be doing anything with that. So come on, Dobson, you can do it. You can do it. Get to the pit lane, yes, with about 8%. Good, right, I'm just going to switch it back to neutral. There we are, super soft tyres being put on the car, and away he goes. Good stuff. Right, now, can Dobson catch Buclova? What's the gap? Let's have a quick look at the gap. 11 seconds, well, that's going to keep coming down and down and down. Of course, Buclova might have to save a bit more on the tyres. Dilemma. <gasps> I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Is it? I wasn't paying attention to the rain. Oh dear. Right. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to push Dobson for this lap here. He's got slightly better car condition as well. But I'm going to pit Buclover just to be on the safe side. It doesn't look like it's going to get too wet. It looks like it will just be intermediate tyres here. So fingers crossed it won't be anymore. I'm going to put Buclover in now. I'm going to get Dobson to do another lap. Intermediate tyres straight away. Good job. So Dobson's going to pit in this lap, put the intermediate tyres on. The pit lane is quite short here, that definitely helps. But I might have messed up the strategy somewhat with Dobson. I didn't realise that was the case. So some people are still not pitted, that's odd, very odd. So now we are first and second the people that have pitted, that's important. Hopefully we'll be able to save enough fuel with Dobson. We might have to go into a conservative fuel mix. Ooh, Fellner did manage to get out ahead of Dobson here. And we know from qualifying there's not a massive gap in terms of qualifying performance between them. Right, come on, Dobson. You can do it. But Clover, I think, quite evidently is our better driver now. In the worst car, still managing to pull off these sort of lap times is pretty good. But with five laps remaining, we're on 21% car condition, which is something to think about. That That's not that safe. I mean, you've got to think about that possibly going wrong. Um, how is it looking? It's going to go into full wet conditions. Is it worth pitting and putting on the full wet tyres? I don't know. I feel like pause. I'm not sure because it's... How many laps is it going to be? I am going... It's such a short lap though. It's such a short, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. It doesn't look like many people around us are... 5%, oh my goodness, we're going to conserve with Buclover. I didn't realise it was quite like that. Uh, I really hope Buclover can make to the finish here, 5% with two laps remaining. That That is very risky. It's, she's probably going to retire. I didn't realise that. I'm not going to lie. Oh no, this is, this is going to be a tense finish. And now she's being caught by the guy behind as well. We're to, we're gonna, if we want to get this win, we're going to have to take it out of conserve and just hope she doesn't retire. A couple of corners to go. Please don't retire. Looks like Glover is going to win the race with 5% car condition. That was tense. I thought she was going to retire, not going to lie. Uh, people that pit for wet managed to get up to P8, 9 and 10. Murray being one of them. But most people staying out on intermediates and that was so close to being... A DNF for Buclova. That was much closer than I'd liked. 
I mean, obviously, you don't have any sort of drama like that in the first place, but I slightly messed up the pits there, but I suppose I didn't have the uh, the intelligence, I didn't have the weather centre there to, to really understand uh, that my I was going to be running into issues. So, there you are, there's another race done, and as I said, this, this is a learning tier. For, for someone like myself who has played it, I'm not bigging up myself, but for someone that has played this game quite a bit through doing the trailers and stuff, I should be doing good in these series. If I'm doing bad, then yeah, that would be uh, that would be not good. So, right, let's continue away. And so there we go. Unfortunately for Dobson, uh, didn't manage to. Uh, wait, what? Booklover's stats get removed. Anyway, nonetheless, let's move on. And there we go. Part build is complete. Awesome stuff. That's exactly what we needed. Hopefully it's a bit more reliable as well, fingers crossed. Yes, it is. That is actually a really good, nice green part there. I mean, we have got green parts already, but looking at it, I feel like it's going to be a massive improvement for our car. So let's assign that to the car, and fingers crossed that will be a big improvement for the upcoming races. So there we are. It's been put on Book Clover's car. Should be pretty decent. So you can see we need to renew the contract, do we, or do we want to... Maybe go somewhere else. No, I think we'll renew the contract here. We're trying to do this season on a budget, aren't we? So let's uh, let's keep our current stuff for now. Maybe if we get promoted for the next season, we'll go upwards and, fingers crossed, possibly get some better stuff. But I think I'm going to quickly design a quick new front wing. We don't want to do too much spending of this over the season, but I think this might help us just secure our top spot by the end of the season. So that's going to be done in the next race or so. Let me have a quick look at the headquarters as well. So I don't think I'll upgrade the gym just yet or crash testing. It's quite a lot of money considering we've only got uh, 4 million right now. But I think the brakes facility is probably the most important thing as we can now unlock that and develop for next season. That would be really, really important. So let's unlock that and that will take a bit of time. Um, no sponsors to look at just yet. So yeah, fingers crossed we'll uh, just get into the Bahrain Grand Prix and do pretty decent. I mean, I feel like we've got a pretty good car and driver combo. I do think that our driver lineups well it says right there best on the grid so i think it, yeah I, th I would agree i think it is the best on the grid most drivers are like one one and a half stars whilst ours are much better than that so there we are part build complete awesome better in both areas as well 26 better in terms of performance and better in reliability as well and this is a tough one because baklova has got better performance but worse reliability but i think i'll give it to dobson because dobson had well, he's a bit of a slower driver, so we'll try and give a bit of an advantage here. So let's go to the next race weekend then here. So this is the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is one of the three new tracks in this game. So there's Bahrain, I think it's Nordvik in Holland, and Monaco. They're the three new uh, tracks for this game. So that's exciting for you guys to see one of the, the new tracks in this episode as well. So there we are, nice, awesome cinematic. And there's the fighter jets coming over as well. The, just everything about this game, which I absolutely love it. I mean, I'm, I'm, of course I'm going to do Bass because I worked on it, but it's just just been great. So here we are, going to do the, the setup game as always. Dobson has got a bit more of a, a bit of a leeway, 14 mechanics things, and I've got six there. Are we going to go any, are we going to risk it? Yeah, we're going to risk it. No, one more ready to go, exactly on the money. That's good. Right, now let's do Book Clover, five, good. But now we don't want to risk it and go any more. Okay, zero, good. Oh, we're in a bit of a predicament now. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to. We don't want to risk completely destroying the global setup, um, especially because that has happened before. So, nonetheless, it's quite a short lap here in Bahrain, and I think we've got a pretty good chance of battling at the front once again. You see purple sectors there from Dobson. I think the new part helping her out there, exchanging purple sectors. Who's gone fastest? Well, exactly the same time. Pretty incredible. Booklover and Dobson both getting exactly the same time on the board. Wow. Anyway, let's go and send out the drivers once again. Good start, one and two. Uh, that's a really good one there as well to get some extra percentage, 13%. Oh, well, that one's risked quite a bit. Are we going to risk this now? Should I go for it? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. And they're exactly on the money once again, down to zero once again. 91% set up with Dobson, which is good. Now, Booklover, this is a tough one. Five, good. But now we've only got four left. Good. Another zero. Nine. Are we gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna risk it. Should I risk it? No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not gonna let it happen again. I don't want it to happen again. I don't wanna completely destroy my setup again. It 
as I said, it's happened before, and in recording for like the trailers and all that sort of stuff, it's happened many times, and I feel like such a fool. So sometimes it's good to risk it, especially if you've got nothing to lose. Maybe going to the title uh, like finale or whatever, and you need to just get a win. And basically, the only way you're going to get a win is a good setup. I'd definitely risk it, but I'm in a pretty good position right now, so I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. So in the pit lane once again, let's see how we're doing once again. Another good setup there. Three only used. And perfect setup, fantastic. So Dobson's away. Now the Clover's only got 29% right now, but we've really lucked out there. 13% on only one mechanics uh, spanner, which is good. And another one pretty decent. Now a bit of a predicament, we're gonna go with that one. But, and five again, so we're gonna get good. And we've actually done a lot there. 26, we've got a 26 percenter in there at 79%. It's pretty good. But qualifying's looking pretty good right now. Uh, the drivers are doing really good out on track. And for anyone wondering, like, they might be thinking, oh, this is so easy or whatever. But let's be honest, I, I have got pretty good drivers. And in reality... I say that we should be doing this well because we, you know, we went out there and spent the money on the drivers, where other teams on the grid haven't gone out there and spent the money on the drivers. So, yeah, I would have to say that, yeah, probably I have the best two drivers in this tier by quite a substantial amount, and that's because I went out and spent the extra money. You can decide to just stay with your standard drivers and sort of just hope you get through, but you can spend your money in different ways. You can upgrade your car, you can get better drivers, you can get better mechanics and engineers. All are ways to get a better car at the end of the day, or a better finish at the end of the day, I should say, but I've gone the, the driver's route, and that's really paying off, because my car's like, I think fourth or fifth best on the grid, so they're really making up for that right now. And, and they probably are slightly OP for the other people in the series, but that's just because I went out there and spent that extra money, and hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me later on. So Dobson gets pole position. So a potential two-stop strategy I just saw there as I was uh, scrolling through, but I don't think so. I don't think so, honestly. I think we should be all right. Um, I think medium tyres should be good on both, actually. So I'm going to go lap 9 with Dobson and lap 8 with Brooklover. That's the aim. Right, so all pit stops are quicker. Good, good, good. Let's go. So the lights are coming on for the Bahrain GP. And the lights are out. And away we go here for the third race of the season. Let's speed it up. Uh, yeah, because we cut parts off the track here. I was wondering why it's such a short lap time. But yeah, it's quite a oval track, this layout. Of course, like last time, there are multiple layouts for each track, or m most of them multiple layouts, I think. Does Monaco have double layout? I can't remember now. I think Monaco even has a shorter layout as well. That's the great thing about having fantasy tracks, you can make them even more fun than real life. So as I said, I was gonna pit, I was gonna, who was I gonna pit on lap nine? I think it was Dobson I was gonna pit on lap nine, wasn't it? Dobson lap nine, Brooklover either lap eight or 10, depending on how well the tires are doing. Actually, quite hard compound of tyres for this round, meaning that even the, the softest compound of tyre can help with a one-stop strategy, which is good. Across the line, once again, we're really pulling away. I think that's slightly thanks to using the medium compound tyres and just having a two really good drivers, really. But I think that the cars behind are keeping eyes on us. About 4.5 seconds. It's been about that margin now for a lap or two. I'm not pushing, but at the same time, I'm thinking about possible strategy options here. For Clover, I'm going to put her into the, the conserve mode to make sure that she can get to lap 10 all right. Maybe Dobson will go through for the lead here. I think you can prioritize your scan. So I'm going to put Dobson uh, yeah, to priority. And now we're going to switch it to equal again. And then Dobson, I'm going to pit you this lap. Fantastic. So I might actually have to repair Clover's car in the pits because you can see it's at 38% right now. And that, that's worryingly low for like halfway through this race. But at the same time, maybe we should just keep conserving, keep conserving, and keep conserving. So we're going to pick uh, pit book over now. I'm going to I'm going to risk it and just conserve for the rest of the race and hope that's okay. But we saw what happened last time. It was quite close to, to not happening out for us. And now book has come up behind Dobson, and I'm going to put Dobson into conserve as well, and just let them both conserve really and see how it goes. And Dobson's putting in fast lap times, which is interesting to see. And uh, Kowalski actually in the yellow car, he's got medium compound tyres as well, and he's right on my tail with Brooklover. I don't know how long I'm going to have to keep him behind, so I'm just going to put it into neutral again for now. 22% with five laps remaining. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to conserve if I want Brooklover to finish this race. 
in this position or around this position. I'm going to have to conserve and hope that she's got the talent. She's a pretty good driver, so she should be able to hold behind and just hopefully doesn't break the car. Dobson's got a pretty good lead now, so I'm just going to go ultra conservative with her to make sure she gets the end of the race. Uh, that's, I'm going to have to go into conserve with the engine mode as well. So obviously pushing with the engine mode affects the engine's uh, condition as well. So unfortunately, Buklova's going to have to give up a couple of positions here to get to the end of this race, but it's probably still less time than if she pitted and had to repair. So it is risk versus reward. Now, last lap of the race, third, fourth for Buklova. I can probably take her out of this mode now, but... Uh, we lost a couple of positions, which is unfortunate, but we're going to still win this race with Dobson, but that's our first race without a 1-2 finish. Absolutely terrible. What's been happening? I don't know. There we are. Cross the line, and we win, but this time with Dobson. Dobson's first race win? Yeah, Dobson's first race win of the season, so good job from her. She drove a better race, actually, to be fair there. Um, through the, the pit stop stage, she did better than Buklova anyway, so... Not too shabby. So, only one driver on the podium this time. Oh, I'll, t I'll take it. I'll take it. There we are then, Kowalski. For some reason, I thought it would be Japanese just from that name. Maybe that's just, I don't know. But nonetheless, still leading the team's championship. That's the one that really matters to get promoted. About double the points at Stonebridge. That's just that consistency coming through for AFR Motorsport. But Clover leads the driver's championship by two points ahead of uh, Dobson. And Fellner is only like 20 points back. And then so is Kowalski. So it's not... That much of a gap, like one race can really affect this here, but um, it's going to be interesting. I mean, with 25 points for a race win, everything is still possible here. I mean, one, one race win separates well, the top four, and then uh, Nasir is not that far behind as well. So it can all change very quickly. So there we go. Good stuff. Another episode done, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always. Please remember to hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. Daily content going up on this channel for Motorsport Manager Mobile 3. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you around soon. Goodbye.